Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, today I want to talk about frustration. I'm sure I've talked about it before. Frustrated with gear. There's nothing that sets me off more than shit that doesn't work the way that it's supposed to. That leads me into a little bit of backstory. Throughout my life, anytime I get something that comes with directions or a manual, I'm one of those freaks that actually reads said manual or instructions. And what I have found across the board over decades of buying shit is that they're almost always poorly written. Don't know who's doing them, but they're doing them horribly. Tons of typos, sentences that don't make sense, describing shit that isn't the actual reality of the way the device or the item is. And that actually prompted me to become a technical writer. So I am actually a certified technical writer. And back when I got out of the Navy in 1999, I started at a telecommunications company, which I've talked about before, eventually seeing how there was no documentation for a lot of the projects that we had field technicians doing. I was like, why don't we have a manual? Why don't we have instructions for these people so that they can do this easier? And that'll cut down on all the calls we get with people asking us how to do stuff. So I actually started on my own making manuals for these installations and all the equipment and so on and so forth. And I started to find that I had a real knack for it. And it also sort of took care of the fact that I sort of put up instead of shutting up. And that I always said that I could write this better than these freaking idiots. So that's what I started doing. So I actually convinced management to basically allow me to get my certification and to pay for it and all that kind of stuff. And I actually got certified as a technical writer. And then it just went from there. And I ended up joining the Society for Technical Communicators. And, you know, I became the newsletter editor and all that kind of stuff. I was really into it. And I was, you know, I mean, I was pretty good at it. All through that time, that's when I started teaching myself how to do software, and I learned how to use Adobe InDesign. Uh, at the time, it was like Microsoft, uh, one of their programs that was sort of like InDesign, but not nearly as advanced. And I taught myself Acrobat, Illustrator, Photoshop, and I even taught myself AutoCAD because I got a bootleg copy of it and I started learning how to use it so that I could mark up all the blueprints and this, that, and the other thing. So that's my background. I'm a certified technical writer. So when I read shit that doesn't make sense or when things don't follow the actual way that they're working, I get insanely pissed off. So that leads me to today's frustration. These damn aperture lights. I don't understand how you're supposed to intuitively know this kind of crap, but the bottom line is this is twice now that these lights have stopped working. And I went through all the settings, I'm like, it shows that they're on. It shows that I've changed the color. I've got them plugged in. There's no way that they don't have power. And it, it, with all of them, the, the ones that I'm using as my key lights and my fill lights, the overhead lights, the colored everything, they're just not working. And I'm getting, seriously pissed off and I go to my old standard of I'm gonna start smashing shit if this doesn't work because if it's not gonna work in the first place then I have no need for it and I'm gonna just freaking crush it and then it can allow me to let out some aggression and punish the company by smashing their shit and talking crap about them and never using it again so here I am and this is a couple of weeks ago I'm trying to get these damn lights to come on and they won't come on and I'm livid I'm pushing every damn button on the app, on the Citus app, trying to get you know, them to work, trying to do anything, to change colors, to go on, to go off, blah, blah, blah. I get to a point where I flick to a screen and it shows that there's a firmware update. I'm like, okay. So I push it and the light flickers off and it goes into a firmware update and it takes a little bit. So then I start checking them all and they all have firmware updates. I went through and I did the firmware updates and magically they came on then. And I was like, <laughs> okay, maybe that app should have let me know that there were firmware updates available 
without me having to sift through dozens of screens and tap on all the damn controls to find that out. Okay, great. So now I'm thinking to myself, all right, at least I know if shit ain't working, first thing I gotta do is check to see if there's a firmware update. So today, this is over an hour ago, I decided, you know what? I've got some time. I'm gonna film an episode. What? Why not? And I sit down and I get my three lights here to turn on and I start to do my overheads, which I have named Run and Gun, and they don't come on. I'm like, okay, and I start dicking around with them. Now, I went in and I clicked on the firmware and looked down there where it says firmware update and there's a bunch of other controls and it doesn't say that there's an update available. And I was like, well, okay, what the hell? Then why aren't these damn things working? I'm plugging them, unplugging them. I'm trying to control them at the actual light. I'm playing with the app. I'm turning the app off. I'm turning the app back on. You know, I'm, I'm completely closing it down and then turning it back on and it just won't work. And it's 45 minutes now and I can't get the damn things to work. And, and again, I'm at the point of smashing shit. So I go back in again, and this time, even though it doesn't show that there's a firmware upgrade, I hit firmware upgrade, and it comes up, it does a little thinking, it says firmware update available. Are you freaking kidding me? So I do the firmware update. I go to the next one, I click on it. Doesn't say that it needs one. Okay, so I close the app completely, turn it back on, and bam. Run comes on, gun doesn't. So I go to run and I play around with it and I click on everything and I set the light to the color and the, and the brightness and all that kind of stuff. And then I go over to gun and I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, what the frick? It, it doesn't need a firmware update. It says it doesn't need one. Why the hell isn't this working? So I reach up and I unplug it, bam. And it comes on and run goes out and I'm like, Okay, tell. So now I can control gun, but I can't control run. <sighs> okay, so I go through and I click run and it says there's a firmware update available. I just freaking did the firmware update. Like what the hell? So I run it again and then I go over to gun and I run another one. So that's two firmware updates in 10 minutes that nothing told me that there was a firmware update available and I do it once and then it shows me that there's another one and I do it twice. So now I still can only get gun to come on. I plug it in, it goes off. I can't control it, can't control either one. So I reach up, I unplug it, damn thing comes on. So I thought, okay, why not? I go to run, I unplug it, damn thing comes on. So now for some inexplicable reason, run and gun, I can't plug in because they won't come on. Unplug, they completely work. As soon as I plug them in, they shut off. Okay, when the hell did that happen? I've been using those damn things for months and that's never happened. These three, they're plugged in. They've never been unplugged. They're working. So what the frick, Aperture? Like, God, that shit drives me crazy. And I bet you if I looked it up online, there'd be some mumbo jumbo, poorly written instructions that wouldn't pertain to it and wouldn't explain it. And if I asked for help, they'd tell me, oh, well, you're gonna have to turn it off and turn it back on. You know, the whole, have you tried to restart your computer, ma'am? You know, just a bunch of condescending dumb shit. So bottom line, and you can see how animatedly pissed off I am because there's still no explanation for why these freaking things won't work. And now I can't plug them in. Uh, so, which means I'm gonna have to drain them and then plug them in when I'm not using them. And that's not the way they're supposed to work because if you put power to them, they should work even if you unplug them and use battery, but that's not happening. So Aperture, not that you're ever gonna see this, not that anyone else is gonna see this and tell Aperture or if they're even experiencing the same problem, fix your shit, man. This is absolutely maddening and a complete waste of my night now. It's now been an hour and 15 minutes that I have dicked around with these lights and that's unacceptable. Could you imagine if I were on a, on a site doing a project and that shit happened? I mean, I'd get fired. I'd get laughed at. I, no one would ever want to use me again because I can't turn my freaking lights on. And it's not my fault, it's your fault for shitty firmware, shitty software, however you want to put it. So fix your damn software, fix your damn lights, write sensible, easy to follow, actual instructions and stop driving me crazy.
They, now I want to grab a camera and go into the woods and take pictures of birds because that's the only thing that calms me down these days. Okay, I'm done ranting. If you have these freaking Aperture MC lights, these ones, the ones that, here, I'm gonna, if you have these freaking awful Aperture lights that also don't come complete in a four, like, kit and only give you half the shit, and if you can't get the firmware to update, or you didn't even know you had to update the firm date, it were, see, I can't even speak. Bottom line is, if you have these damn things and you're having these kind of problems, get down in my comments, man, and tell me what you're going through. Let me know how you fix this crap, or let me know that you can't fix this crap and you said the hell with them and you've just smashed them with a hammer and you've gone out and bought something that works better. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these freaking things. And six of them are going to the frickin' hammer block soon. So, yeah, if you have this kind of problem or you recommend something else, let me know because I would love to hear your input. And that's all I have today. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.